Okay, so what are some things we both like doing? Rainbow looked at a blank sheet of paper. W well, I really like watching you practice. And I always like showing off. Rainbow wrote down flight practice on the paper. You really like my cooking, so dinners are always an option. Fluttershy thought about possible new recipes to try for Rainbow Dash. Rainbow wrote down dinner on the paper. Um, we both like hanging out with our friends, going to Pinkie Pie's parties, and getting a good sleep. Fluttershy listed off the most obvious things first. Check, check, and check. Rainbow listed off hanging out, parties, and napping. Um, how do you feel about the weather you make for Ponyville? Well, I love having a good thunderstorm. Flying past lightning as it strikes is one of the most intense things ever. The wind and rain in your mane is just incredible. Uh, oh, I just kind of prefer it when there's a light summer shower of sorts. Watching the calm rain is rather soothing. Eh, close enough. Rainbow wrote down weather fun on the paper. What about pranks? Oh, um, well, I guess as long as it's in good fun, and no one is offended that they're okay. I, I'm just not good at coming up with ones. I'm counting on it. You could join me and Pinky in doing some awesome prank fests. Rainbow chuckled as she wrote down pranks. Well, I know you're not too interested in taking care of animals like I do. How are you about swimming? Fluttershy remembered enjoying a good swim every so often. Swimming? Well, it's not as fun as flying, but I suppose it's fun. You can't say I have anything against it. Rainbow wrote down swimming. I know you're not much for competitions like me and Applejack tend to have, but is there anything physical you enjoy? Fluttershy couldn't help but blush at the way Rainbow worded that. Oh, um... Well... Fluttershy rubbed a hoof over her leg as she thought. F physical I, I like h hugging and cuddling. Being close, but, but I'm not very strong or anything. I I'll mostly be a cheerleader for you. A as best as I can, though. Mm. Rainbow chewed the pencil in thought. I've never been too big on stuff like that. She tilted her head while crossing her hooves. But we are together now. I'll have to try some of that with you, see if I like it. Rainbow wrote down hugging on the paper. Fluttershy blushed again, thinking happily at the thought of cuddling with Rainbow Dash. She was really sticking to her word and giving this a serious try. It really made her happy. Suddenly. There were several knocks on Fluttershy's door. Oh, I'll get it! Fluttershy quickly got up, heading for the door. Just as she was about to open the door, it flew open suddenly. Oh, there you are, Fluttershy dear. It took me forever, but I was finally able to get your new dress looking as good as new. I even spruced up some of the finer edges, so it should shine even more now. Rarity walked into Fluttershy's house with a white box. Oh, thank you, Rarity. I appreciate it. Now, you didn't give me any of the details about what happened that night, so you simply must tell me now. How did it go? I can't imagine it going too well with the state your dress was in. Rarity turned to see Rainbow Dash looking at Rarity with a pencil in her mouth. Oh, good evening, Rainbow Dash. I wasn't expecting to see you in Fluttershy's house. Well, I'm here. Rainbow grinned before putting the pencil down. Oh, well, um, about that night. Fluttershy was not sure what to say. She looked nervously at Rainbow Dash. You see, I... Rainbow could see Fluttershy's invisible question of, what do I do? Hey, go ahead and tell her, Fluttershy. She's our friend. I'm sure she'll understand. Rainbow Dash grinned, not really wanting to hide anything. What? 
You've already told Rainbow Dash? Oh, you simply must tell me now! W well I didn't really tell her. S see it's like this. And then she kissed me, saying, What do you think? And we just kind of went from there. Fluttershy finished her story, scraping her hoof against the ground. Yeah, it was shortly after that unicorn team came up and gave Fluttershy a full refund on the show. Man, those guys had egg on their faces. Uh, oh, you mean the pony you were trying to impress was Rainbow Dash? Well, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't forthcoming about it. Good heavens, Fluttershy! Why didn't you tell me sooner? Hey, what's with that tone? Rainbow did not like the way Rarity said that. Uh, I'm sorry, Rarity. I was just nervous. Fluttershy rubbed her leg gently. Oh my! No wonder your night was terrible! I give you dating advice on how to attract a gentle colt, not Rainbow Dash! Rainbow Dash is far from being a good gentle colt. Hey, I can be fancy when I need to. I just don't feel like it. Nevertheless, I gave the wrong advice for the suit of Fluttershy was trying to attract. Rarity addressed Rainbow Dash before turning to Fluttershy with a smile. And something simple would have been much better for attracting Rainbow Dash. Perhaps something with a rainbow flair to it. Something that would visualize to a I'm thinking of you. Yes, it truly would make a gorgeous piece. Rarity smiled as she thought about it. S so wait, you're okay with Rainbow Dash and I dating? But of course, dear. Whatever made you think I wouldn't? Rarity smiled at her dear friend with a warming smile. Oh, I guess I was just nervous that you or the others wouldn't like the idea. Oh, darling, you shouldn't ever feel that way. We are your friends. We love you for who you are, and if you like mares, then that's fine by us. If it's what makes you happy, then of course we support you. Though, I must admit, I was hoping you'd fall for someone with a touch more grace. But not every pony is me, I suppose. Oh, ha ha, very funny. Rainbow Dash rolled her eyes before walking up to Fluttershy and showing Rarity a big grin. But if you don't mind, Fluttershy and I were in the middle of some important relationship business. This comment elicited a large blush from Fluttershy as she tried to hide her face in her mane. Oh, but of course. How rude of me. I'll go ahead and escort myself out. Rarity smiled before heading back for the door. Oh, and one more thing, Rainbow Dash? Yeah, what is it? You better treat Fluttershy right. She is my dearest friend and I would hate to see anything sad in her. Rarity glanced at Rainbow from the corner of her eye. You kidding me? I'd rather lose my wings than do anything to hurt Fluttershy. Very good. I leave her to you then. Rarity nodded before her horn lit up, closing the door behind her. Th thank you, Rainbow. Th that means a lot to me. Fluttershy blushed as she spoke quietly. Hey, what's a mere friend for? Rainbow grinned before nuzzling up against Fluttershy. Now come on, we need to finish this list before I figure out a good date to take you on. Rainbow quickly walked back to where she had placed the paper before sitting down. Y you T taking me on a date? Well, yeah, I'm taking this seriously, so it's only fair that I take you out sometimes. Rainbow picked up the pencil before scribbling on the paper again. Besides, I may not know a whole lot about being mushy and romantic, but it requires effort on both parts, right? You put the effort in, so it's my turn now. I guess you're right. Fluttershy happily headed towards Rainbow again. However, this time she sat down next to Rainbow, nuzzling up against her. A soft blush appeared on Rainbow's face.
Hey, that tickles! I have the best mere friend ever! In the epilogue of Too Shy for a Rainbow, Rainbow Dash is played by Jay, Fluttershy is played by Musel, Rarity is played by Christine, and narration was given by Trevor Gonzalez. It was directed and edited by Lightning.